graphing inequalities with one unknown. The purpose of this video is to show how inequalities with one unknown can be graphed on a number line or on a coordinate plane. A one unknown solution can be graphed either on a number line as a point, and this is the graph of on a number line of x equals 5, or as a line on a coordinate plane. This is also the graph of x equals 5, but on a coordinate plane. Similarly, a single unknown inequality can, can also be graphed on a number line. This is the graph of x is greater than 5. Or on a coordinate plane. This is also the graph of x equals greater than 5, but on a coordinate plane. In graphing solutions to equations on a number line, we have points. But in graphing inequalities, we have boundary points. The boundary point can be either a small open circle or a point. The point or filled in circle corresponds to the less than or equal to and the greater than or equal to symbols. The small open circle means the inequality is less than or greater than. When the unknown is on the left side, the direction of the arrow from the boundary point is the same as the direction of the arrow tip on the symbol. If it points to the right, the inequality on the number line points to the right of the boundary point. We need to have a caution here. This only works when the unknown by itself is at the left of the inequality symbol. If it's at the right of the inequality symbol, we need to switch them around and switch the direction of the symbol as well. When graphing inequalities on a coordinate plane instead of boundary points, we have boundary lines. When using the x on a coordinate plane, the boundary lines are vertical lines. Here is x is greater than 5 graphed on the coordinate plane. Note that the vertical dashed line at x equals 5. Also, note that to the right of the line is a shaded area of the graph. The shaded area means that every point in the shaded area is a solution to x is greater than 5. The vertical dashed line means that the boundary line itself is not part of the solution, only it points to the right of the boundary line. Let's graph this inequality, x is less than or equal to 2.5. When we're getting ready to graph, it helps to say it differently. Say x is equal to and less than 2.5. It helps to say the equal to or not equal to first since that determines the type of line you draw. We draw a vertical line at x equals 2.5. Since it's less than or equal to, we make that a solid vertical boundary line. And since it's less than, we shade everything to the left of that solid boundary line. You can shade it with pencil. We can also graph inequalities using the y variable. This one is y is not equal to, but greater than 3. Since we're using the y variable, we draw a horizontal boundary line, and since it's greater than, it's a dashed line. And since it's greater than, the shading is above the dashed boundary line. Here's another inequality. Stop the video and graph the inequality on a number line, then graph it on a coordinate plane. Restart the video to see how you did. The first thing we need to do to make things easier is to turn around the inequality to get the unknown on the left side of the inequality. When we switch it around, we need to change the direction of the sign as well, so it becomes x is less than or equal to negative 2. And since we're going to graph, it helps to say x is equal to and less than negative 2. On number line, we mark the boundary point like this, a solid point since it's equal to, and since on the symbol, the arrow tip points to the left. For less than, we draw the arrow to the left on the graph as well. To graph it on a coordinate plane, we draw a vertical line at x equals negative 2. It's solid since it's equal to. And since it's less than, with the symbol pointing to the left, we shade to the left of the boundary line. So this is what it looks like. Inequalities are solved like equations, but the number solved for is a boundary point and not a boundary line. The boundary points are solid points for greater than or equal to and less than or equal to and open points for less than or greater than. Arrows are drawn from the boundary point to the left, to the right for greater than and to the left for less than. Inequalities can also be graphed on a coordinate plane with boundary lines instead of boundary points. Solid lines are for greater than or equal to, and less than or equal to, and dashed lines are for less than or greater than. 
less than is shaded to the left of the line and greater than is shaded to the right. This has been Graphing Inequalities with One Unknown. Special thanks to G-Dog Jr. for his help with the technique of saying equal to or not equal to before saying greater than or less than to help with the graphing. I hope this video has been helpful. Thanks for viewing.